What's up guys and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Skylar and I obviously suffer with acne. So on my last videos, I have been getting a lot of comments and DMs and you know, people just reaching out, asking me questions like, hey, did you try this? Hey, did you try that? Hey, what about this? Hey, what about that? So I just wanted to kind of update you guys on my skincare routine and my favorites. So if you want to see my current skincare routine and what has been working for me and stuff like that, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I would just want to simply show you guys my skin. So let me zoom you guys in really quick. This is what my skin currently looks like. I have quite a few blemishes right now, quite a bit of scarring and so on. Okay, so for the longest time, so I have had acne um, for about two years, like severe acne for about two years. I've had acne my whole life, but it hasn't been like nearly as bad. Like I would just get like little like blemishes here and there, you know, like teenage hormonal acne type. Um, and then I switched my birth control and it blew up. My skin got so so bad it's not even funny i have plenty of videos on my past you know skincare routines and stuff like that and my journey and stuff like that so if you guys want to go check that out i would recommend that um but if you want to just start off from where i am today this is what's going on i finally went to go to a dermatologist um i ended up getting since it's covid and stuff like that i didn't want to go into an office so i actually ended up like hiring a um like a I don't know exactly what it would be called, but basically I pay monthly and I have a doctor that's specific to me So I can text her at any point. I can call her. I can set up visits with her. I ended up hiring a dermatologist um, I've been on my medicine for a little over a month now She actually prescribed me two different medications. The first one that she put me on is doxycycline. I have tried doxycycline before but um they didn't or i did it like a topical i didn't do like ingesting it like actually taking the pill i take one capsule every single day and i'm she said that this one takes about three months before you see a result but this is the first one i'm taking the second medication that she put me on is actually very very common um it's called tre tretinoin cream um it's also it's really known as like a retin-a and this one is only 0.025% or 0.25% or something like that. Most of the time people get prescribed 0.5 or 0.05. I don't remember exactly what it is or how strong. But um, normally they get prescribed that one. But since I'm on two medications, she just did this one. And this one is very intense. I've only been doing this one because it was on back order because it's like how much people use it. Um, I've only been using this one for four days now and it's made my skin extremely dry but I noticed that my blemishes go away a lot faster and my skin like my cell turnover is like way faster which is very good it's kind of like how retinol works so with this she said that my skin is going to get very bad for two weeks and then or like within the two weeks and then after that, my face is going to start clearing up really well. So I think it's called purging. I don't know if that's like what this is actually doing, but I'm assuming it's purging because my face is going to get really bad. So it's pushing everything out of my skin and then it's going to end up getting better um, in the end. So I've only been on this for four days and I am i don't see like that big of a difference yet. All I notice is the dryness um, and then how fast my blemishes go, like how they leave really fast. This stuff I feel like is going to make a major difference major change in my skin okay the next thing that i want to talk about are the different cleansers that i've been using um so in my past videos i use actually a lot of the same cleansers because i found ones that really work for my skin i have three cleansers technically that i use um majority of the time so the number one cleanser that i use is the cerave i have talked about this numerous of times if you are not new to my channel you have probably seen this before so this is the renewing sa cleanser it says it's for normal skin so this one is really really good because one is dermatologist recommended it's really good for sensitive skin um it it doesn't dry out my skin it doesn't irritate my skin at all like it doesn't do anything that like a if I was to go get like clean and clear or Neutrogena or something like that it does not do that this is such a good brand for sensitive skin and acne prone skin 
um, even if you have like just regular skin I mean if you have clear skin but you need a cleanser this brand is still so good it's good for multiple skin types and I love it this one specifically has um, salicylic acid inside of it which once again I've talked about this numerous of times salicylic acid um, it's basically a gentle exfoliant for your skin and it's gonna get inside of your pores and it's gonna break down the dirt and oil and it's gonna help to clean it out and you know it's rather than taking a scrub to your face like a St. Ives or something like that that is very very harsh on your skin it actually cuts your skin and it's not good so don't ever use that use salicylic acid it is the best thing that you can use on your skin the next one I use I have also talked about this is the pan oxal um, face wash this one is the 10% it's the maximum strength it's nine dollars I want to say which is actually very very good for this amount of benzoyl peroxide that you get um, before I was using the cream that I got prescribed I would use this a lot because this has benzoyl peroxide in it which it basically helps to kill bacteria and it helps to kill acne this is a phenomenal face wash it can dry out your skin um, so I don't recommend using it every single day unless it I mean if it works for your skin it works but try it out first try it um, like maybe three or four times a week and then if that works for your skin cool maybe you can up the dosage maybe you can slow down a little bit just see like kind of play around with it and see what works I usually use this one in the mornings and then I use the CeraVe at night because I do put the cream the retin-a cream on every single night so I don't want to do this plus the cream so I end up just doing this one which is a lot gentle a lot more gentle and then I end up going in with the cream afterwards the third wash that I use I rarely use this one um, because it's a little bit more intense and it does dry out my skin almost every single time I only do it whenever my face is breaking out extremely bad um, but I haven't really been using it as much since I got on my medications but I was using this one this is the Dr. Bronner's tea tree it's just pure Castile soap um, but this is a tea tree version and I love this if you cannot tell it is like empty I use this in I originally bought this for a video where I made my own face wash and I still use that sometimes but I don't want to have four different face washes and I only use this one whenever I desperately need it so I kind of I don't use that other one as much um, because I'm kind of just I'm, I don't want my skin to be going through too much I want it to stick to the same routine and everything like that so I do use this one a lot if you have um, body acne this is phenomenal I use this I just squirted on my loofah and I just wash my whole body and it is amazing I love this there are three serums that I use the most um, the first one that I use almost on a daily basis is vitamin C so I have multiple vitamin C serums this one right here came in my boxycharm so I've been using this one recently I also use the I think it's called Paracone or something like that I use that one a whole lot um, just any vitamin C serum or anything with vitamin C is very very good if you have acne scarring because vitamin C is the BLT of this of the like ingredients so it's gonna brighten lighten and tighten which is phenomenal which is everything I need because I have acne so I want it to brighten my skin, I want it to lighten my scars, and who doesn't want tight skin, right? This one I use almost on a daily basis. The next one I use, I also got in my BoxyCharm, is this Kate Somerville. Um, it's basically, it says smooth, firm, or smooth and firm. So I use this one a lot whenever I have a lot of texture on my skin. Um, it kind of smells weird, but I mean, it, I mean, it works. It's, it's a good product, so... Um, the next one I use is the ordinary this one is another one of my empty products this one is the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% I love this one if you have acne I mean if you have oily skin this one is phenomenal I love this one especially underneath my makeup okay now the next thing that I want to talk about is moisturizers so I have two that I use the absolute most um, so the first one that I use is this it's the a, a cure radically rejuvenating SPF day cream it has some really really good ingredients in it it has turmeric for ulic acid and vitamin C um, and this one has SPF 30 in it which is very very important to me because the medication cream that I'm on the retin-a um, 
it makes my skin extremely like extremely sensitive to the sun so every no matter if i'm out for two minutes if i'm out for two seconds if i'm out for two hours does not matter i have to have spf on my face the next moisturizer that i use is this one this is the thayer's um, this is one of their new ones. It is their salicylic acid collection, the lemon one. And this one has aloe vera in it, which all of their products do, which is super soothing. So that's great whenever my skin is really dry and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then it has a 2% salicylic acid. I really, really like this one for the nighttime. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is birth control. So my acne was very, very minimal the first time that I got my birth control. For those of you who don't know, I have Nexplanon in my arm. Um, and the first time I got it, it didn't really change anything. Um, like, of course it changed my hormones, but I didn't have acne that much. Like, I had a little bit, but nothing crazy. And then it lasts for three years. So after the three years was up, I got it taken out and replaced. And that is when all of my acne started. So I... Um, was scheduled to get it out and I ended up getting it taken out of my arm and this is the little scar right there if you can see it it's still healing but it's like basically done healing now it's but I got it taken out maybe three weeks ago two or three weeks ago and first of all if you are not on the next plan on don't get on it do not get on the next one on it is the worst birth control ever yes it works yes it's effective yes i've been with my man for seven years and i am not yet pregnant thank you but no for no because it caused all my acne it is the worst to get taken out i could hear if you get woozy skip 10 seconds but i could hear her cutting my skin like it didn't hurt but like it sounded like jeans ripping up no no i i hated it getting it taken out is the worst part 100 percent 100 percent hated it literally left the clinic and threw up just be smart with it okay if you feel like your birth control is causing your acne don't be stupid like me and just wait it out until it's time to get it taken out no go to your gynecologist or your doctor or whatever and talk to them and tell them what's going on with you and then they can help you to either change it and get on something different try different options um put you on something else that can help to correct it but anyways i really hope that this video was informative to you guys if you guys have any questions at all just comment down below and i will answer you guys as best as i can um i am not a professional i am not a dermatologist um i am simply a girl who has been experiencing acne for over two years now and I feel like I've done so much research and I've tried so many things that I feel educated enough to kind of guide you guys. Um, and all in all, the best thing you can do is to go talk to an, a professional or like a dermatologist. They can actually evaluate your skin. They can tell you, you know, what you're doing wrong. They can tell you what type of acne you have. They can do all this stuff for you that I can't. But if you need any advice, I am here for you guys. I will do my best um and yeah i hope you guys are staying safe but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys